Hello and welcome to the Thursday, October 30th edition of Titan TV. I'm Steve Santucci. And I'm Gina Blasky. <laughs> Hope you guys had a great weekend and let's fill you in on some campus happenings throughout the week. So uh, without further ado, let's go! Alright, the first thing for this week is on Thursday, October the 30th. Running from 3 to 4 in the Beckman Auditorium, students and professors will be pre presenting their opinions and advice on traveling abroad outside of IWU curriculum. Experienced travelers will be letting students know how to choose a destination, how to get there, and also how to find lodging, all on a tight student budget. That sounds like a pretty nice thing to find <laughs> out if, if you're going away abroad. All right, IWU's own Professor of History, Mike Weiss, will be speaking on October 30th, starting at 7 p.m. in the Hanson Student Center. His talk, entitled, Do We Still Need the Voting Rights Act?, will be another entry into the 3D series, those Ds representing diversity, dignity, and dialogue. Professor Weiss will be giving both a historical context for the Voting Rights Act of 1964 and a look at recent efforts and actions to limit provisions and voting access. In case you weren't already aware, tomorrow is Halloween. So, Steve, you're clearly excited and ready to go. I am, I am. You know, I could not wait until tomorrow for Halloween. I had to dress up. Obviously, I am Mario, if I wasn't aware. But uh, I will be going with a friend, Luigi, and it should be great. you have any ideas? Um, still deciding. So right now, I guess, procrastinating college student. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But <laughs> A lot of people can relate to that. Definitely. I'm definitely one of those. But uh, if you do not have any other plans, for Halloween. On Friday, um, there's a Halloween party starting at 7 p.m. in the Hanson Student Center. The Cross-Cultural Connections Club will be hosting the party, and it's focused around sharing the traditions of Halloween with IWU students of different cultures. The traditional Halloween foods of pumpkin pie and caramel apples will be present, and it'll be free to all who come. There'll be trick-or-treating, a photo booth, and a costume contest. So, be sure to come dressed up in your costumes. Also, as per Halloween tradition, students can decorate their own mini pumpkins. So. You have me a free pumpkin pie. There you go. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Endless funds. What is not to like? So if you have nothing to do on Friday night at around that time, come over to Hanson for a party. Also on Friday, running from 4 to 5 p.m. in CNS C101, Professor Jonathan Webster from Bates College will be giving his talk, Searching for Small, Strong Pseudoprimes. The talk will be hosted by Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Andrew Shalou. This Saturday, there are a lot of sporting events going on here at Illinois Wesleyan, so we would just like you all to know what's coming up so we can support our Titans. Well, first of all, swimming and diving team will be facing off against Rose Hulman University of Technology at 1 p.m. Also, women's soccer takes on North Central at 1 o'clock p.m. And the women's volleyball team, two matches on Saturday, one at 10 a.m. and one at 2 a.m. The first is against Concordia University, the second against Wisconsin Lutheran College. And lastly, men's soccer take on North Central College at 3.30 p.m. And those are a lot of things going on Saturday for sports. We wish you all the best. Go Titans. From 7 to 9 p.m. in the Beckman Auditorium on Sunday, November the 2nd, the German film series will be presenting the film, The Führer Gives Jews a City. The film was commissioned by Hitler in 1944 with the idea of demonstrating to the Red Cross and the world that his concentration camps were humane. So, students interested in German or World War II history are encouraged to come and learn more about this critical part in world history. As part of the continuing non-org programs, members of the IWU American Association of University Professors will be presenting the next non-org on November the 3rd from noon to 1 p.m. in the Davidson Room. Adjunct Assistant Professor Lance Larkin will be presenting an International Studies Colloquium called Art, Xenophobia, and Social Change, examining the intersection of Zimbabwean stone sculpture and South African art activism, sponsored by the IWU African Studies team. The colloquium will be running from 4 to 5 p.m. on Tuesday, November the 4th in the Beckman Auditorium. On Wednesday, November the 5th, the Career Center Alumni Speaker Series is running a talk on social media. The talk will focus around your social media footprint and how activity on social media can help or hurt your career. So, come and learn how to put your best social media foot forward. 
On a final note, we have a shout out to a local charity organization, Recycling Furniture for Families. This Christian charity operates right out of downtown Bloomington, and it's committed to gathering and refurbishing furniture for the underprivileged in Bloomington. Since 2002, Recycling Furniture for Families has served over 4,700 families, consisting of over 15,000 individuals. So if you or someone you know has too much stuff, anything from furniture to lamps to household cleaning essentials, consider Recycling Furniture for Families. Their address, phone number, and email address are included in the description below. And now over to our field anchor, Lisa, who interviewed Cecilia Boyd, a member of the Sierra Club, about sustainability. Hey guys, my name is Lisa Kasakikitu, and today I'm here with senior Cecilia Boyd, who is involved in the Sierra Student Coalition. And for those of you who don't know, the Sierra Student Coalition consists of students who are interested in environmental sustainability at the campus, local, and national level. And ever since it started in 2005, it has been the only completely student-run reading group on campus. So, Cecilia, could you tell us about the structure of SSC and how it's organized? Yeah, SSC is organized into a few committees. Uh, the big committees this year are the Composting Committee and the Divestment Committee. And I can get into what those specifically are. Okay. So the um, composting committee works through the dugout, specifically trying to promote composting on campus, and the divestment committee is in charge of the opposite of investing. Um, divesting is trying to get Illinois Wesleyan to remove funds that we have invested in fossil fuel corporations. Okay. Cool, okay. So. What are some of its accomplishments? Because I know that the Sierra Student Coalition is always working towards making Iowa a more environmentally friendly campus. Mm -hmm. um, over the years, the SSC has accomplished a fine list of sustainable things. Um, we have the prairie plot outside of CNS. Mm -hmm. That's something that the SSC helped organize. We also um, were in charge of implementing the hydration stations in uh, CNS and um, the dugout, which has really reduced the amount of water bottles that have been used on campus. Mm -hmm. And then um, more recently, we have done a large rally for um, preventing the Keystone XL pipeline, which was a big event a couple years ago. OK, cool. Um, and what are what's one of the Sierra Student Coalition's main goals for this year? This year, um, our main goals include uh, divesting still and then composting. So those are our main committees, and so our main goals will be related to that. Okay. So I know that at the local level, you guys go to local parks and trails and things like that. But what do you guys do on a more national level? On a national level, we try to raise awareness on campus for um, lobbying for national events. For example, preventing the Keystone Pipeline from um, transferring fossil fuels from the tar sands in Canada down freeze in the United States. And on October 25th, a group of five students from this year's Student Coalition, myself included, are going to be going to Chicago for uh, the Green Festival which is one of the longest running sustainable festivals in the United States. And its goal, um, the festival's goal is to promote sustainability and environmental consciousness, just like the SSCs. And what we'll be doing as volunteers at the Green Festival is um, sorting through <laughs> trash and recycling and making sure. Fun. <laughs> it's not the most glamorous, but it's good to do to make sure that we have the smallest amount of trash going into landfills as possible for this event. So we're going to be composting, we're going to be recycling a lot of the items that we pull. Okay, um, and I know that you guys raise awareness through movie showings, petitions, and other campaigns like that. So what is going to be the next big event from SSC? Well, this month, uh, the SSC has deemed the month, 
And so we're trying to raise awareness for our friendly pollinators, the bees, which are undergoing this horrible illness that has led to colony collapse disorder, which a lot of people don't know about, but um, it threatens a lot of our food crops. So in order to bring awareness to this, we are inviting a beekeeper, um, a local beekeeper from Bloomington, to give a talk on the 25th of October, I believe, at Wesleyan. And um, we're also going to be showing a documentary that will be informative about colony collapse disorder that everyone is invited to come see. And we'll have more information on the exact dates and times for those events. But they're on the way. Okay. Um, and for those of you who want to join the Sierra Student Coalition, they meet every other Tuesday at 8 p.m. in the underground in the Memorial Center. And you can click on the link in the description for more information. Thank you. And I'm turning it back to our anchors in the studio. And now for some global news. The war in Afghanistan has officially ended for British and American combat forces. The British lowered their flag at their headquarter military base, Camp Bastion, and handed it over to Afghan security forces. The United States did the same thing at Camp Leatherneck. This ends the 13-year conflict that left 428 British casualties and 2,349 U.S. casualties. In other global news, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie has called for a 21-day quarantine for any health personnel returning from West Africa. U.S. health experts have called this idea ludicrous and not based on science. Christie defends his policy as a necessary precaution. And now for some more local news. Midterm elections are this Tuesday, November 4th from 8 to 7, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. All students who are registered in McLean County are encouraged to cast a vote in the Hanson Student Center. It's a critical election year and will determine what our government looks like leading up to our next presidential election. And now, on to some sports. <sighs> Let's talk about the world of sports this week. Iowa football lost a close game 29 to 28 to Elmhurst College last Saturday. That puts them at three and four and one and three in conference play. The Titans take on North Central College this Saturday in Naperville. On to men's soccer, they lost at Elmhurst Saturday also by a score of four to one. They're seven, eight, no, and one, two, and no in the conference. Women's soccer, on the other hand, defeated Elmhurst last Saturday by a score of two to one. Congratulations, ladies. And in women's volleyball, the Titans defeated Concordia University in Chicago three to zero on Friday. Well, congrats all around, and good luck this week for the Titans. That's all the time we have for this week's edition of Titan TV News, and we hope you have a fun and safe Halloween. I'm Gina Blasky. And I'm Steve Santucci. Go, Go get them, Titans! And happy Halloween! Halloween.